Hi. We are trying to build a Savonius wind turbine using 55 gallon plastic drums like the ones you see here. These drums can be bought at uh, recycled drum shops for approximately $15 a piece. In addition to the drums, we're using some OD brand PDC fittings to connect the drums together and to use a three inch diameter PDC pipe as our axle. The drums need to be cut vertically down the center. I found that, that using this uh, sawzall device is the quickest way to do it. But I got a little bit straighter lines by using a ordinary Stanley miter saw. Once the barrels are offset and connected with a ring, a hole of approximately three and a half inch diameter can be cut to allow the piping to pass through. I use a roto zip for this, but you can use whatever you want. We now have two barrel halves that are pretty much constructed here. We're going to take the two sections outside and connect them to the axle. I preferred to do it inside, but uh, I measured them and it's not going to make it out the door uh, when they're connected at 90 degree angles. Over here, we have two of our bearing units. Our bearing units are actually Lazy Susans, which have been mounted to seven and a half inch approximately square pieces of wood and the, uh, the wood's been hollowed out using a four and a half inch hole saw. Then you can see the Lazy Susan is in the middle there. These are five or six dollar items you can get at Lowe's. And uh, again we've used some of our Oatly PVC hardware to anchor the units. These Lazy Susan bearings can handle 325 pounds of downforce. So we're going to support these underneath the bottom pieces so that the, the uh, weight will be pulling down and compressing the bearings. They're not designed to be pulled apart. So here's a miniature version of what we're going to be doing. And um, there you can see that when the uh, when the, the bottoms of each section are supported, the entire axle will be live and will rotate. Oh, this one's upside down. This one's not looking. It'll be like this. There we go. Now we have a live axle where the entire axle rotates. Like so, and that's what we're going to hope to get working outdoors shortly. And here you can get a close up and see the actual ball bearings in there. We Our next step is to join these two barrels together into one unit and then to mount that unit on an axle. Okay, part way through uh, construction of the barrel halves, uh, we decided to put the top against top to uh, make it a little better uh, connection and uh, before we finish tightening the nuts, we realize that it's going to oscillate <laughs> instead of go around in one direction because the top is going to fight the bottom because they're going to tend to rotate in opposite directions. So we are now going to take this apart and put it together the right way. Okay, here we have joined both of the barrels together and uh, are ready to mount them on the axle. 
Okay, we just took a mallet and uh, drove our axle, which is actually plumbing pipe, completely through the, the unit. The next step will be to mount it under our deck, where we have some cross beams that we will screw our bearings into. And there she goes. You can see there's just a very slight wind here and, and it's uh, spinning quite well. You look at the plants behind the wind turbine, they'll see they're hardly moving. <laughs> 